amazing job spreading the ball around. So just the more weapons you can use, I feel like the harder it would be to game plan. So um, this is probably a good starting point for us to keep building on. How satisfying is it to get this win, especially coming off the game you had last week, to get just a dominating win like this? Yeah. Um, you know, we always say we can't let the same team beat us twice, just mentality-wise. You know, you can't. If you're thinking about all the mistakes we made last week, we can't let that carry over to this week. We always have that 24-hour rule. We are done talking about it on Tuesday, um, so it was just kind of ready to we were ready to move on, wipe that bad taste out of our mouth. So it's definitely good to move on. How did you see Josh respond this week? You've seen him have to bounce back from performances, maybe not identical, but tough performances. How did you see that compared this week to, to some of those others? Yeah, I think the best players in this league had the, you know, shortest memory um you just got to forget about things you can't let it just linger you know you can let it help you learn lessons but you can't just be thinking about your mistakes or it's just gonna it's gonna be bad in the long run so he's so good at being able to put that stuff behind him be the player he knows he is that we all know he is um everyone in that stadium knows and that's and that's josh allen out there so um really fun to see him ball out like we know he always does but um, again, just good to kind of get that bad taste out of our mouth. Take, take us in the locker room this week. The ma fans, media, everybody's wondering what's going on. You guys can't do that and you don't do that. And like, What was it like, just that mentality of kind of just rallying around each other? Yeah, um, this locker room's so incredible that everyone's here just to help each other, pick each other back up. Um, just the type of guys, the character we have on this team, um, there's never going to be kind of putting each other down it's always just picking each other back up so um, again being able to put that loss from last week behind us and be able to build and um, start laying the foundation in the direction we want to go was pretty cool this week. Dawson you mentioned how fun the deep, this offense is to play and how versatile and you have to enjoy it today. This NFL machine you know, the offseason is so long everybody can't wait until that opening day and then the, the, how much does that play into the frustration of Monday night of we know this offense is fun because we do it. We know the fans want to see it, but now we got to wait six days. How yeah. does that make it um, I mean, again, it was almost kind of a nice thing. It was a short week, just one extra day or one last day before we got to get back onto the field. But there's always a lot of anticipation for the season opener. But, um, you know, things happen. You know, they're a really good team, too. But. We're done with them and we're moving on. And thankfully, we were able to do that pretty well this week. So um, again, so we'll we'll take the stuff from this game, good and bad. We'll learn from it. 24 hours, we'll be moving on. Dawson, we appreciate the t-shirt today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah what, thanks. What, what went into the t-shirt? Uh, my girlfriend got it for me. So yeah, I had to rep Josh, obviously. Um, what she what she showed me, I was like, I gotta wear that. Tomorrow. I just can't not wear it. Um, so yeah, hope y'all like it. <laughs> where's it? Where's it from? It People week? don't know where to get it. Um, I think this is research and design. Shout out, you know, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. The, uh, the touchdown uh, wide open, you motioned in, right, to help sell the run and just kind of talk about the... Oh, yeah. Uh, we brought another lineman in who reported eligible. Um, I motioned in, making it look like we were just going to crack the DN and run the ball. Um, he kind of looped in, and then the DB was just waiting on me. So I was like, oh, crap, i got to make him think it's a run. So I acted like I was blocking him, too. Thankfully, he kind of took the bait, um, and Josh rolled out. And it was, you know, just one that we practiced a lot. It worked out well. Everybody, everybody loves big plays, but from an offensive standpoint, do you guys feel like you're humming even more when it's the methodical chunk play, play, play? Yeah, like one of those last possessions where we went 95 yards down the field. I think it was like 15 plays or something. Um, just being able to feel like you're imposing your will out there. That's it's kind of a confidence booster. Being able to run the ball well. You know, take little check down throws when we can, and then hit a big one when the defense gives it to you. So it's all about just playing smart but not conservative, taking what the defense gives you. Um, but it was a it was a really good game out there, I think, just all around on the offense. You're second now all time in touchdown catches among tight ends in franchise history. What do you, what do you think oh, about? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. How, how, many many gotta, how many more do I got to get? Not many. You're close. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't have the exact number, but. Uh, only one more, only one guy in franchise history has had more at the position. Uh, Matt Slars, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. What? Uh, gotta come for. I gotta go for him. Yeah. yeah what we'll comes see. to your mind when you think about that? I mean, kind of says a lot. Yeah. Um, definitely an honor. Um, definitely want to go for that number one spot, but um, you know, I think that just comes with more games you play. But it's not going to be something I'm focused on. Um, but playing with a guy like Josh Allen with our O line, 
um, hopefully those opportunities are going to keep coming.